Brooke Fletcher here and welcome back to another episode of the third half. Hey, we have a great show planned for you guys this evening. The Tigers, they're gearing up for full squad workouts to begin tomorrow down in Lakeland. And one of the newest faces of the team is Wilson Ramos. He's a veteran catcher and we had a chance to sit down and catch up with him and see what he's looking forward to most about being part of the Tigers organization. Also, Red Wings forward, Adam Ernie. It's been a while since we caught up with him. Last time we talked, he was getting ready to welcome his first child, but uh, a lot has changed since that conversation. So we had a chance to catch up and also play a fun little game. So a lot to get into, but first, let's start with our news of the week. The NBA announced that the All-Star Game will take place in Atlanta on March 7th. The game will follow the same format as last year, but one new thing, as part of this year's events, the NBA and MBPA will commit more than $2.5 million in funds and resources towards historically black colleges and universities, all in an effort to provide additional support and awareness around equity and access to COVID-19 care, relief, and vaccines. From NBA to MLB, after just 143 games in the big leagues, Fernando Tatis Jr. shocked the baseball world, signing a stunning 14-year, $340 million contract with the San Diego Padres, making his contract the third largest contract in baseball history behind only MVPs Mike Trout and Mookie Betts. This is just one of the many big contracts the Padres have on their payroll. The organization now has, get this, $812 million invested in just their infield alone. San Diego is not playing around, that's for sure. And it won't be long until we see these guys in action because spring training is finally here. While pitchers and catchers have already reported to begin workouts, they'll be joined by the rest of their teammates tomorrow as they begin full squad workouts. That gives the Tigers about one week before they have their first spring training game against the Phillies on February 28th. Let's get to our first interview of the evening. Wilson Ramos, he is a veteran known across the league, but he's getting ready for his first year with the Detroit Tigers. I had a chance to sit down and catch up with him and uh, to see what he's looking forward to most about being a part of the team and how he's hoping to impact the Tigers organization. First, I guess I want to welcome you to Detroit. Uh, what kind of intrigued you to come uh, to Detroit? Uh, you know, probably everybody, everybody see me training with Miggy and a lot of people are probably thinking like Miggy helped me to, to sign with the with the Tiger. It's not true because you know uh, my agents were really good with this situation but you know I have I have really good relationship with Miggy. I know Miggy for a long time. That helped you know the the people from Detroit to make that decision to to call me and and you know and sign me. Well, besides, you know, obviously playing with your good friend, Miggy, what are you hoping to bring to this Tigers team after looking at them as a whole? Well, you know, I know I got, I have really good experience behind the play. I know, you know, we have a really good group of, of talent pitchers, young pitcher, and I want they learn to compete. Uh -huh. You know, that's, that's, that's the key, you know, especially, you know, communication between Dan and me. It's, it's really important. That's what I want to, to start with, you know, especially with young guys. I know they they throwing – they want to – probably they want to throw how they like to throw, but, you know, we have to be in the same pace. We have to string the opposite hitters, and that's going to be very important for us this spring to try to be in the same page. And I'm sure they're going to look up to you as a mentor. But a mentor for you was Pudge. You spent some time with him in the – with the Nationals. So – I mean, you're teaching these guys to be competitors, but what was something that he passed along to you um, that you've kind of carried over to your career? He teach me the same I told you already to compete, to learn, you know, and he, he told me, he told me, like, sorry, that's my kid. You know? The beauty of working from home. I feel you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no yeah, judgment there. Yeah, it's, 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 it's hard, you know. But, you know, uh, he teach me a lot. He teach me, you know, controlling game, how to call game, and, you know, that's very important. That's what I want to give it to them. Well, you um, – I was reading, you've only played at Comerica Park, what, a couple of times in your career. So, I mean, everybody talks about how big the park is. I mean, what are you looking forward to most about playing at, at Comerica Park? Yeah, I just play – I think I played just two games in that, in that stadium, uh -huh. but I'm a gap-to-gap -gap hitter, 
and that probably that gonna help me to, to bring a lot of runners in. And I'm not looking for homers. Honestly, I, I'm not looking for homers. I'm a situation hitter. And I'm 100% sure, Hi. you know. <laughs> Is this your son? Yeah, yeah. We'll let you go. We know you have your hands full, but but real quick, I mean, full squad workouts are just around the corner. What are you looking forward to most about spring training and, and what can we expect from this team this season? You know, I call I call this year a uh, comeback year because you know I wanna be I wanna be involved involved in, in uh -huh. baseball again, you know, like it's hard to see to see your name out of out of news. But, you know, I feel healthy right now I feel good I still feel young and you know I want to show everybody I can still play we appreciate Wilson uh sitting down with us and wishing the best of luck this season all right moving from the Tigers to the Red Wings Adam Ernie forward for the Detroit Red Wings it's been a while since we caught up with him last time we talked to him he was expecting his first child but a lot has changed for the young dad so recently I caught up with him uh, to see what he's been up to and also play a fun little game. Take a look. Your wife was pregnant last time we talked. So she had your baby girl at the beginning of 2020, and then you just had your baby boy, uh, Tyson, what, yeah. just recently. So how's fatherhood been for you? It's amazing. It's so much fun. Um, Riley is just growing up so fast, and Tyson's getting big. So, I mean, for the first, for the first while, the uh, Riley, my older one, didn't, like, acknowledge that Tyson was born because he didn't move, so she had no idea he was <laughs> alive. So it's like, what is that? <laughs> yeah, now, that he's, now that he's moving, she just she hangs around him a little bit more. Uh, so it's cool to see them like interact a little bit, kind of. You know, last time we talked, we you were talking about how you were possibly wanting a tiger. Do you remember us talking about that? Yeah, yeah. I mean, now with two kids, I have no interest. Um, I no got interest. Full. <laughs> My hands are full, but. Um, Two kids, two dogs, and uh, so it's pretty crazy right now. Well, we know you're, I mean, you're a fun guy. I mean, you you have Rottweilers. You <laughs> wanted a tiger at one point. So we're going to uh, have a little fun with you and play play a game. Are you, are you down? I'm down. Okay, so we have three categories here, and we have a list of items within those categories. Do you want to give or receive the clues first? I'll receive them. Okay, which category? Do you want things with wings? Famous Adams or Ice Required? Ice Required. So we'll see how many we can get in 45 seconds. Okay, okay. ready? Yeah. Set, go. Um, you eat this, you put it in, um, you can put different color syrup on it. Um, it's it's in the cold, the cold, but it's, what do you, what do you call it? Like it's, um, Slushy. Slushy it's ice. like an uh -huh. ice cream, but uh -huh. it's, uh, okay, but it's made with like it's what what is it outside? What what is on the ground outside? Oh, snow cone. Snow cone. Okay, yes. Um have you seen cool runnings? No. Oh crap. Um it's an Olympic sport and they go down the like ice mm -hmm. little mm -hmm. Oh, kinda like that. Um Um you crap. You do this down the hill in the snow. Um what, what do you okay, Bob's but what yes. Okay, um, you lick this, and it's cold, and it comes in different. Oh, my gosh, that was so bad on my <laughs> end. The 45 seconds goes by so fast. The other ones were Popsicle, Glacier, Igloo, Yeti, and Zamboni. Zamboni. Should have went with Zamboni. I know. I know. Gosh, dang it. Okay, now you're going to give the clues. Famous items or ice uh, or things with wings. Um, things with wings. Yeah. Locked in. Let's go. Okay, uh, we take them to away games. Uh, that's how oh. we travel. Take them to away games. Uh, back? Them. Oh, airplanes. Yeah. Airplanes. Um, they buzz. They honey. Oh, bees. Um, they're in cities. People live in them. They work in them. Um, the things with wings. Um, oh, buildings? Yeah. Um, little, uh, uh, in Antarctica, they're at the zoo. Penguins. Yep. Um, farm animal. Uh, Chicken. Yep. Um, 
someone that goes to heaven. Oh, time's up. Okay, well, we got five. Either you're really good at this or I, I just can't give it close. <laughs> nice. Okay, we got one more category. Famous Adams. Now, okay. hopefully, I, I can redeem myself here. <laughs> okay, Big Daddy. Um, okay, Happy Gilmore. Yep. Okay. Um, he's in Maroon 5. He's the voice on... Uh, Oh, yeah, he's a judgment voice. Um, uh, okay, they're in the Bible, and uh, they're the first. Adam and Eve. Oh, crap. Yeah, I said first. Um, the, uh, oh, he's the ESPN. Um, we'll get back to that one. Um, uh, you do this to the car. Uh, sorry. Um, <laughs> who's Adam? <laughs> the driver. <laughs> I don't know who this person. Um, okay. Who's this guy? Crap. I don't know this person. Um, okay, this one, he is an ESPN. Um, he Adam is... Schechter? Yes. Is That's he an ESPN? Good. No. That's good that you... About... <laughs> who is he? Wait, who is he with again? He's on, like, uh, I don't know if he's, like, TSN, but he's, like, big on Twitter. Insider. That's right. Well, we got four. So, 11 out of 21. Not bad. Not bad. <laughs> Never a dull moment with you. Uh, good best of luck the rest of the season, all right? Thank you very much. Always fun when we have Adam on the show. We appreciate him uh, coming on. All right, well, it's been a good show, you guys. But before I let you go, I just have one more thing. The daughter of the silversmith who created the first Lombardi trophy is not happy with the Tampa Bay Bucks and uh, quarterback Tom Brady. The 43-year-old went viral during his team's Super Bowl boat parade when he tossed the Lombardi trophy from his boat to another. Now, Lorraine Gross, the daughter of Greg Gross, who created the original Lombardi trophy, wasn't happy with the toss, going to social media to express her thoughts, saying it was disrespectful, she couldn't sleep for days, and that he needs to apologize to the fans and her family because her family worked really hard on it. Well, eventually, the Bucks general manager went and replied back with one simple meme that basically told her, Listen, just lighten up. And to be honest, I agree with them. Lorraine, listen, I get where you're coming from to an extent, but the trophy's fine. It was in Tom Brady's hands. He's the GOAT. We know he doesn't, he wouldn't drop it. So just, just calm down. It's okay. Lighten up. All right. <laughs> okay. Well, uh, it's been a great show, you guys, but um, you know what time it is. I got to let you go. Thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time.